Okay, hello. Uh, my name is Mitchell. Uh, welcome to the Cat Park YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to be responding to this video, the worst song on every Taylor album, uh, specifically her opinion on Lover, uh, where she says Cornelia Street is her least favorite slash most irrelevant to the album. I'm going to be responding to that. Uh, and please understand that I... I, I I am subscribed to Internet Jules. I'm gonna like this video. This is no ill will or anything. I'm just gonna be responding because at the, in the video she says, uh, if you have a different opinion than mine, feel free to tell me why you disagree. So uh, I'm gonna be talking about Cornelia Street, talking about uh, the other songs on Lover, and uh, yeah. Hey guys, before we get started, please stream. Our, our band right here, Cat Parks, are on Spotify. We're on YouTube. You can click on our YouTube channel. You can do our Apple Music. A uh, link you can do Pandora anything we're on all streaming platforms we have a cover of all too well by Taylor on here uh, that I did also we have our own original song anthem we have a few more songs coming out within the next six to ten weeks I predict we'll have three more songs out so please uh, make sure to follow us on our socials make sure that you uh, please stream our songs and uh, thank you and uh, enjoy the video okay here's the clip well, I think Cornelia Street is like the throwaway song of that album, implying that I think Taylor Swift has one throwaway song in all of her albums. So I wanted to talk about why that is the case, and I wanted to go through each one of Taylor Swift's albums. I wanted to go through each one of Taylor's albums and talk about the song that I think is thematically, socially, lyrically, era-wise unnecessary to the album. I believe that every single Taylor Swift album has one, and people are gonna find me about this because. Taylor Swift is an amazing writer, and she's also super smart and very intentional about the things that she does and the music she releases and the way that everything works together to fit her image in that specific era of her life. That's so true. So for me to talk about there being filler songs in her album might make a lot of people upset at me. But let's just talk about it. Lover. I've already talked about this. Um, I think Cornelia Street is completely completely irrelevant to the entire narrative. It's like a fun song and there's some interesting lines in it, but it's just kind of a throwaway song in terms of how good the rest of the album is. But if you have a really good reason to why you think I'm wrong, I would love to hear it because I don't feel super strongly about that one. I okay, so that's the whole thing. There's nothing left that she says about it really. First thing I did was I looked up to see if um, it was a popular song among fans. So I looked on Reddit and <clears throat> Someone posted this one, Unpopular Opinion. Cornelia Street is the best song on the Lover album. Uh, and then people are saying it's not unpopular, and this is a lot of votes. 200 votes on the Taylor Swift subreddit is kind of a lot, I would say, for a comment. Afterglow is pretty vulnerable, too. I agree, I like Afterglow. It won Billboard's fan poll for best song? I had no idea. Here's the link, apparently. It's her favorite. I didn't get to vote on this. Is there still a way to vote? There's no way. Anyways, so I didn't really see what this link was talking about, honestly. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that Cool Summer is more popular, like this person's saying. But I agree. I think that Cornelia Street is a very good song. Um, one of my favorites. I wasn't sure exactly how popular it would be going into this. 110% my favorite. Uh, probably my top five for all-time favorite songs and yeah I agree with this person saying that it has all too well vibes all too well uh, I completely agree with this concept on Cornelius Street I think it definitely has the same kind of vibage right because it's a long song if you yeah it's 447 for Cornelius Street also just like listen to the instrumental okay Okay, like that noise, that's cool. Okay, first off, it's really cool. I don't know what that is. I couldn't recreate that. Uh, I know that's not really a good reason to like the song necessarily, but uh, uh, also the, one of my favorite parts in the entire song is whenever she does the hopes. I think it's right here. All right, here. Okay, so like the way that she says the hopes there, I don't know. That's one of my favorite parts about the song. Also, it's a really long song, so that kind of takes away and adds to it. If you like it, you love it. If you don't like it, you might be wanting to skip it. I can understand that. But the chorus... City screams your name! That's just great, you know? Like, come on. And then whenever she's like, I'm so terrified if you ever walk away. Oh my god. 
I cry every time. And uh, also, the instrumental is cool. I think that the chorus hits, as in, like, it's a slapper. So, you know, the fact that we get to hear it three times is cool because her. I guess it's, not, it's more like a head voice for women, right? So, like, not a falsetto. So, like, I don't know if they're the same thing, honestly. But I know, like, her head voice there when she's like, that part is so good. Okay. And we get to hear it three times throughout the song. So, in terms of what the actual album is about, it's called Lover, and it's about a lover. And Cornelia Street is a song about her being afraid to lose a love in the chorus she says if you ever walk away i'll never walk cornelia street again so i feel like that fits in the album uh in terms of the concept also i i would could maybe agree with her point that in terms of like the story the album's trying to tell i feel like maybe that story should be uh maybe not exactly where it is but i do think that uh, sonically based on like what we're hearing i think that it fits in perfectly right uh where it does in the album between paper rings and then death by a thousand cuts and then after death by a thousand cuts i kind of feel like the album uh just kind of splits there right and it, this is almost like an entirely different album going down from london boy uh to the rest of the album that's kind of how i view this album maybe i'm crazy i don't know honestly it's come to become one of my favorites on the entire album at this point because i've listened to most of the album uh or the entire album like probably 10 times 20 times already somewhere in there um honestly my favorites right now are corn not right now my favorites after listening to it enough times to make a, a valid opinion i think is cornelia street also i think lover is one of my favorites and hold on i should write it down oh i think he knows yeah that's one of my other favorites uh i just really like that song whenever she's like ah! So yeah, um, those are some of my favorites. Obviously, I like almost every Taylor song. I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan. I do have least favorites on this album, though. Uh, specifically, I think that the singles were rather lackluster. Me and You Need to Calm Down had me kind of worried. I'm not going to lie. Whenever we were hearing about this new Taylor album and she put out me with Brendan Urie, whenever I was like, oh, okay, Brendan Urie's on it. That'll be cool. But then I heard it and I was like, okay, this is a little weird like i don't know if i'm i'm not against weird but this is like a little kind of like childish i guess a little bit so but you know every artist has some stinkers and i think taylor has written some of the best songs she's one of the best songwriters of our generation without a doubt uh it's funny because i i try to i try to compare her to the beatles in terms of songwriting all the time just to kind of see how people react i think it's i think it's fun um but uh, I think she definitely has a, a couple stinkers on this album, including those two singles. I think Lover was good, even though it was a single. And I think Archer is pretty good. I don't, I don't know. It's not my favorite song, but it's, it's, it's not as bad as me or You Need to Calm Down. However, I do think that me and You Need to Calm Down are like the lowest tier for me. And then it's nice to have a friend and uh, Falls God are like just above it. Like, it's like, does that make sense? Like... I don't know, they're not as bad as those two, but those two are definitely not my favorites either. Uh, but yeah, Cornelia Street specifically, I think that if, if it might take a little bit of listening to get into because uh, honestly, like the, the title and the and the chorus both have Cornelia Street in it, which, you know, you don't know Cornelia Street, like no one, I'm assuming, I guess some people do know Cornelia Street, but like uh, most people that don't live where Cornelia Street is, I would imagine don't know where it is. Like I had no idea that it was even a real place or not, like... It could have been but i think the song around that the object cornelia street is very relatable okay so it doesn't necessarily need to have the object cornelia street being that relatable uh because it turns out it is a real place i i, I googled it and uh yeah this guy said that uh, he rented his apartment out to taylor swift on cornelia street and uh he didn't know who taylor was like he 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 didn't realize that taylor swift was coming to view uh, you, you can see somewhere right here he's talking about how I really didn't know her. He says, I'm not a pop culture guy. And I even said to someone, I'm meeting a new person named Taylor Swift who wants to rent my home. My home. Now, mind you, I know her songs because I had them on my running playlist. I just didn't know the name, match the name to the song. I know it's silly. So, so he had Taylor Swift show up to his place and he's just like, oh, that Taylor Swift. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this is her real place on Cornelia Street. Here's a couple pictures. It's pretty cool. Yeah, this is her place. Okay, I was just making sure. Oh my gosh. Imagine being able to afford this. Holy crap. Anyways, though. 
Um, so that's most of my video here. It's just a response to Internet Jules video. I'm subscribed to her now because she talks about Taylor. Um, I'm going to start making more videos uh, and just going to be talking about artists that I like, specifically Taylor Swift. Also, just like a bunch of bands that I like, um, different pop artists that I like. I'm probably going to be talking about their songs. Um, please subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, follow our social media accounts. We have... <clears throat> As of the time of the recording of this video, we're planning on releasing about three songs as Cat Parks, uh, one a cover from Paramore, and then uh, two original songs. Uh, so please make sure to subscribe, like the video, uh, if you agree that Cornelia Street is a good song. Uh, I just kind of wanted to run down Cornelia Street and talk about it and uh, talk about Lover and some of the best songs that are on it and my opinion. and respond to internet jewels here so please make sure to subscribe uh, like the video follow our social medias and uh, listen to our music right now we have two songs out all too well and anthem on spotify itunes youtube uh, you can find them on our channel you can find them anywhere really so please please uh all too well is a taylor swift cover so please listen to that i'm gonna let it play uh right now Close my